Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 5 from the 2024 University of Maryland High School Math Competition Part 2. And this is not an easy problem, so I suggest that you spend some time working on this problem, see if you can make some progress or if you can solve this problem. So the problem gives us two sequences and it asks us to show that GCD of these two sequences xn and yn is more than 10 to the power of 2024 20, after some point. Essentially what they are saying is that the GCD of these two, uh, uh, these two um, sequences xn and yn can become very very large after some point. Now looking at these two sequences they do look like um, binomial expansions so the only, uh, the only thing is they are missing some terms. So if you look at xn and I'm going to uh, move the negative 1 to the other side, plus 1, that gives me the sum 2n choose 2k. If this were to be a binomial expansion, and these would be only the even terms, you would have to have something to the power of 2k. So I'm going to write this down as 7 to the power of 2k, and then root 48 to the power of 2n minus 2k. And yn can be written as the sum k equals 0 to n minus 1, 2n choose 2k plus 1. Convenient, conveniently, both of these are uh, binomial um, coefficients of the same number, the number 2n. This one is 7 to the power of 2k, and I would like this to be 2k plus 1, and then root 48 to the power of 2n minus 2k minus 1. Now this is exactly the same as the binomial expansion, except this inequality, this equality doesn't hold, so I'll have to divide by 7 in order to get rid of the exponent here, and multiply by root 48 to get rid of the negative exponent here. Now we get something very similar to binomial expansion. So if you take xn plus 1 and add 7 over root 48, you would get the sum k equals 0 to 2n of 2n choose k. So when k is even, you get the xn plus 1. When k is odd, and there's an yn here, you get the terms in yn. So 2n choose k, 7 to the power of k, root 48 to the power of 2n minus k. And this is exactly 7 plus root 48 to the power of 2n. Now if you do something very similar, you would get xn plus 1 minus 7 over root 48 yn is equal to 7 minus root 48 to the power of 2n. Now if you multiply these two, you are going to get xn plus 1 squared minus 49 over 48 yn is equal to 49 minus 48 to the power of 2n, which is 1. Now let's um, expand this. We get xn squared plus 2xn plus 1 minus 49 over 48. Uh, I guess there's a square here for y, yn squared equals 1. And this gives us xn times xn plus 2 equals 49 over 48 yn squared. So now let's clear the denominator. We get 48 xn times xn plus 2 equals 49 yn squared. So we want to show that xn and yn have a large GCD. So let's call that GCD dn. So that's the GCD of xn and yn. If you look at the left side, the left side is divisible by that GCD. So the right side must also be divisible by that GCD. But of course, this GCD is relatively prime. So let me actually just do Xn for now. Um, GCD is relatively prime. Um, Xn over GCD is relatively prime to Yn over GCD. So let's um, divide this both sides by dn, so we would get 49 yn squared over dn, and let's write this down as 49 dn times yn over dn squared. And the reason I do that is that this quantity and this quantity are in fact relatively prime. So since these two are relatively prime, we can deduce that 
xn over dn, in fact, divides 49 dn, which means xn over dn is less than or equal to 49 dn. So that means xn is less than or equal to 49 dn squared. Now let's look at xn. So if you look at xn plus 1, we have lots of terms in xn plus 1. The first term is when k is 0. So when k is 0, you get 48 to the power of n. So you get 48 to the power of n. And the last term is when, when k is n. So we get 7 to the power of 2n. And of course, lots of other terms as well plus lots of other terms. So that tells us that xn is more than 7 to the power of 2n. So we can uh, take this one and replace it with that. We get 49 dn squared is more than 7 to the power of 2n. Let's take this square to both sides. So we get 7 to the power of n is less than 7 dn, which means dn is more than 7 to the power of n minus 1. Now, can we make dn large? Of course we can, because 7 to the power of n minus 1 is going to approach infinity. So there is some m such that if n is more than m, then 7 to the power of n minus 1 is more than 10 to the power of 20, 24. And in fact, we can find out what that is based on log, which means dn is also more than 10 to the power of 20, 24. And that brings me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.